Okay, we've got a lot of ground to cover this morning. Prince Harry praises the Queen's Commonwealth Trust weeks after saying it had to acknowledge its past. past. So that was a lot, she got a lot, they got a lot of criticism about that, and I think rightly so. So Harry and Meghan joined a conversation with people involved in the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. Okay, so they're still president and vice president of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, even though they've left the royal family. That doesn't make sense to me. To discuss using digital for good, okay, swirled peas, okay, swirled peas, about a month after speaking to other members of the trust about justice and equal rights. So a month ago, they slammed, uh, you know, the Commonwealth and the trust and the Queen saying they needed to acknowledge their past and, and today, yesterday or whatever, they're saying they're praising the Queen. Okay, so the Duke of Sussex, who remains president of the QCT despite stepping back from senior royal life, said the Queen had achieved what she set out to do when taking over the Commonwealth. Harry said, I think everything my grandmother wanted to achieve when she took this huge responsibility on, she's managed. No one could have predicted how the world was going to change in such a sport, short space of time, especially with the digital space, but hearing you guys and knowing the broad spectrum that the QCT, Queen's Commonwealth Trust, engulfs, you're the definition of the 21st century Commonwealth and what it means to be part of it. You are there standing for equality, mutual respect, and for fairness. So I'm wondering if the, the Crown, you know, cautioned Harry and Meghan about criticizing them all the time because that's literally all they do. So we're going to take a look at this. Here we have Meghan. Meghan Markle gives her most political remarks yet. We all know what's at stake this year. And this happened. She was talking to the 19th, okay, which uh, represents the 19th Amendment permitting women to vote in the United States, and that's 100 years ago. When I think about voting and why this is so exceptionally important for all of us, I would frame it as we vote to honor those who came before us and to protect those who will come after us, because that's what community is all about, Megan said, and that's specifically what this election is all about. I think we're only 75 days away from election day, so that's very close, and yet there is so much work to be done in that amount of time. So she is being straight political, and I'm wondering if this is a thorn in the Crown's side. Piers Morgan, we have to talk about Piers, loves Piers, he's back to being Piers. Piers Morgan calls for Harry and Meghan to be stripped of their titles after she hits out at Trump, specifically for what she said. When Meghan Markle said, we all know what's at stake in the upcoming uh, U.S. election. And finally, I want to look at, they did this uh, baby to baby. Is that what it's called? Baby to baby. Here they are, baby to baby, baby to baby.org. They even have a street sign for it. Is this Harry and Meghan? We know they're using doubles. It's a lot easier for me for some reason to spot Meghan's doubles because boy, they really look different. And Harry comes out Sometimes he's looking cut and muscular and the color of his hair is slightly different. Here they are again. Is this really Harry and Meghan? And, and I actually think that Meghan is really afraid of catching the bug. And so she stays inside a lot. She's believing the narrative and she's not going out. So she's sending her double out. So we, we need to take a look at, is this really Harry and Meghan? Because if Harry's not there, I take that as a good sign that he's waking up and he's being influenced by other people who are not Megan. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. Is Prince Harry backpedaling on all the criticism of the crown? I mean, were they reprimanded or, you know, are they just practicing what they preach? They're speaking kindness for once instead of constant criticism of the crown and just saying the most hateful, evil things. So... Let's see. I mean, let's start with a, a mini, a mini Celtic. Are Meghan and Harry a thorn in the crown side with their constant political... Well, let's see. 
Okay, yeah, I'm going to ask that question. So are Harry and Meghan a thorn in the crown side with their constant political speeches? I mean, how, how is the crown feeling about the current iteration of Meghan and Harry? Because it seems to me that all they do is make political speeches and criticize the Commonwealth and the Queen and Charles and William. And now they've got a new book out. And goodness gracious. Are Harry and Meghan a, a thorn in the crown side? Big change from what they did. Uh, underneath in the situation, and it's a queen, so this is probably more likely Megan. Angry, vengeful, jealous. The the snake is angry, vengeful, and jealous, and it's a disaster. It's an absolute disaster. So, are they a crown in the a thorn in the crown side? You bet. You bet. Twenty two in front of all the people. I mean, they've just done. Harry and Megan have just done a complete one eighty. Uh, from what they should be doing. I mean, it's just all politics, all the time, all woke speak, criticizing everything Western civilization and everything that the crown stands for. Behind handcuffs, they're still connected to the crown, manifesting. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the crown manifesting. I'm asking if, the, if Harry and Meghan are a thorn in the crown side. So they're... They're manifesting. What do we have in the outcome here? We have, because of all the conflict, separation. I'm wondering if, like Pierce said, they're going to... I think they would strip Meghan of the title of the Duchess of Sussex. But I don't think they'll strip Harry of titles. And, and, and we have Piers Morgan saying, well, they should just be stripped of their titles because they're just not royals. And they're not working for the royals. And they're not saying anything that the royals would be saying. Okay, Roses, Cornerstone, and City, uh, 12 and 3, 15, 4 clubs. They're, uh, they're, this is their new, you know, virtue signaling foundation to the world. And it's such a, con it's a constant conflict and division with the royal family. So, are they a thor thorn in the crown side? It could not be worse. Ten spades is the worst possible outcome. They are just... The snake is is embedded like a tick underneath and in the situation. So they are really sticking in the craw of the crown right now and not doing anything that... Everything they're doing, the... You know, Charles and the Queen and William and Kate are really just not liking it. So we saw Harry and Meghan at the baby to baby. We'll put Meghan here. We'll put Harry there. Is either or both of them body doubles? Because I'm reading the comments and everybody's like, body doubles, body doubles. So let's find out. Let's just see. Let's see what the cards want to say. Are, is, is Meghan a body double there? Is that Harry a body double? He's looking awfully skinny. He's not looking at muscular at all. Just very skinny. Megan is looking very skinny. Harry's looking very skinny. Uh, and that's probably a good baseline uh, to, you know, being very presentable and that kind of thing. Okay, Megan. Harry. Oh dear. So we're asking if they're body doubles. Are one or both body doubles. So over here on Harry's side, we have the devil. So the devil's a liar, closely associated. 21, 25, seven hearts. Here's the seven hearts up here. Seven hearts, star Bethlehem. Star Bethlehem, there's a million stars in the sky. Okay, so they've got a million body doubles for Harry. I say this is not Harry. This is not Harry. It's someone who looks like Harry, closely associated with Harry, and he's been employed by them for a long time. But it's not Harry. This is not Harry. Is this Megan? Player can be just an actor, deeply rooted, over the long term. Oh, this is Hamster Wheel's upside down. Hamster Wheel is upside down, so very close. 
hamster wheel reverse. Hamster wheel is very far away overseas. This is somebody from the local area, 1627, brought in from outside. It might not be, I actually think this is not, I think this is not Megan or Harry. I think this is an actress playing Megan, and I think this is definitely not Harry. This is a deception. So it's neither Harry nor Megan, and they have a whole bunch that they use. Okay, uh, opportunistically, on an ongoing basis for appearance, they're constantly switching uh, doubles in and out. Okay, so butterfly for the public from the outside, and there's a whole bunch of them, 14, four diamonds. This is just something that they commonly do. They very commonly, very regularly use body doubles. They're commonly and regularly using body doubles at this point. And it looks like, so clearly they are using a lot of body doubles. It's pretty easy to identify some of them. Uh, you know, the body types are very different with Megan. Some of the body types are kind of different with Harry, and they have different hair colors and different eye colors. So this may not have been either Harry or Megan. That's really kind of odd that neither one would show. But I think Megan is really kind of, you know, uh, she's... Who's that billionaire who was afraid to talk to... She's going all Howard Hughes on us, you know, and, and I think she's really afraid of the bug. And she doesn't really want to interact with people, but she needs the press. She feels like she needs the press. So here, this would be the real Harry and Meghan. Should be, unless they switched out Harry because Harry's not there. But this should be the real Harry and Meghan. And because it's a video chat, they're not directly interacting with people. But it seems like they really like to do this. Like when they were delivering the food... It's clear, it's just obvious looking at those people that they were body doubles. So they're doing this constantly. Hey, we have Harry praising the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. Okay, were they reprimanded by the palace or are they just, you know, being positive and... You know, just like they say, we need to be positive on social media. So they just just changed their tone. And now they're praising the Queen's Commonwealth Trust when a month ago they were raking it over the coals for unconscious bias and whatnot. OK, so were they reprimanded or are they just practicing what they're preaching? Blockage Angel Fox. Well, there's the crown. Oh boy, we have here. So we have the crown. This was an order. Okay, reacting to an order from the very powerful king, officially from the crown. So underneath, yeah, they did get word from the crown. Yo, what's up with all this tirade of, of unwelcome criticism and look at what you're doing. So they did get reprimanded and it's under the surface and they're reacting to it. In the center of this spread is them reacting to this direct order, shape up. Okay, so they were given like a direct order. On the surface, clever move. The fox is very clever, very, very clever. Angel, a virtue signal. You know, we, we love the crown. We're part of the crown. We're president and vice president of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, which makes no sense to me since they're not really in the royal family. They're really not doing the work of the royals anymore. And everything they do and say is political. Blockage. So they're doing this because it's creating a problem. Let's see, 23, 28, secretly. Yeah. So under the surface, this is creating a problem. All this constant criticism is creating a problem. So now they're on their best behavior. Oh, we're going to be good and we're going to praise the queen openly. Uh, this does work. You know, it's a good idea. Uh, Megan and Kate were beefing every... There were just article after article after article. Megan and Kate are, you know, Megan is jealous of Kate. They're having a problem. They're not talking to, to each other. And then they walk to church together, smiling. Then they go to Wimbledon and even Pippa joins them, you know, you know, that works. And it, it fake it till you make it, you know, showing that kind of uh, does change, can change 
changing the outside can change the inside. You should change the inside first, which changes the outside. But you can also go the other way. And that's what they're doing. This is, they were reprimanded. I find that interesting. Is the queen considering pulling Meghan's title? Okay, because I don't believe she'll pull Harry's title. But we have, we have Piers Morgan, and I think he's just pushing the narrative. Uh, saying, well, gosh, they need to take both their titles because they're just not working royals. Uh, is, would the queen consider, is the queen considering pulling Meghan's title? Because they plan for everything. Uh, they do. Would the queen pull Meghan's title? Look at all those aces. We got four aces. We got four aces. Straight razor, cut, mustard seed. This is the title. The mustard seed is the title. It's an official document. It's a it's an official title. It's a it's a it's a seed. It's the it's the gift. It's the so the the strongly rooted title 11 12 13 four hearts of the family. So right on the surface cutting the title and the rooting cutting the title and the associated rooting uh, in the foundation. Yeah, uh, that is right on the surface. No can be no or full stop. But we have four aces. Aces are brand new. Stopping this, uh, this, this success and the heart connection in everybody's best interest. Three, an action to stop this, to stop it to stop the association with the crown? I think yes. I think the queen is considering cutting the title for Meghan. I really don't think she is thinking of cutting the title for Harry. Now, the best way would be, you know, upon divorce, when they announce, when they divorce, that also happens. Okay, Harry left the royal family and he lost all of his military uh, associations. He lost all of it. That's the kind of thing that happens. An event happens. And then as a result of that event, this event would be a divorce or a separation, but probably the divorce itself, then other things follow. I think this happened to Fergie. I think uh, the title changed for Diana. Uh, this happens when royals divorce. The titles change or they get lost. And it, and it, and we have just seen it happen for Harry. He lost all of his military stuff. Uh, as soon as he left. And I don't know if he's going to be able to get it back. I mean, what a situation he's put himself in. Let's review here. Is Meghan and are Meghan and Harry a thorn in the crown side? You know, with the constant political pandering woke stuff. Yeah. And it just literally can't be any worse. And this is what they're committed to. This is what Harry and Meghan are committed to to manifesting. They're manifesting this whole thing. A lot of people are saying Megan's going to run for office. What are a lot of people saying that Harry's going to do? Nobody's saying anything about Harry and nobody's saying anything about Archie. Everything is just Megan all the time. Everything that's happening here is for Megan and Harry's just following along like a lost child. And he used to be the prince. And obviously he was the, the prince and Megan was following Harry and everything is completely reversed in upside down world now. Okay, so their new foundation of woke in the world is a constant problem and, uh, and, a, and a division for the royal family. So it couldn't be worse. All of this uh, political stuff could not be worse for the royal family. They're very upset about it. And I see Charles being angry. I see William being angry. I see the queen just kind of you know, keeping her, her lip buttoned and, you know, biding her time. Meghan and Harry, are these doubles? Well, definitely they use doubles all the time, all the time. Harry is definitely a double here. That's not the real Harry. I think now this is tricky because Meghan is an actor, an actress. This is the actor actress card. So this is a person, 2127, from outside, seven diamonds. It's from outside. This is someone from outside. This is an actor from outside. So I, even though I'm going to say the, the, the actor card is trickly, tricky here, 
but because it's outside, yeah, this is not Megan either. If if Megan was not an actress, definitely this would not be Megan with the player showing. Okay. But because Megan's an actress, it's a little harder. You know, she comes from the acting world. It's a little harder. Uh, but this is someone very much associated with them. They're both very closely associated over the long term, very close by. This was upside down, very close to them, deeply rooted in the situation. Yeah. And they get tens. Yeah. So this is neither Megan nor Harry. Uh, doing that baby to baby. Well, no wonder they can do so many things because, which they're not doing that many things, but there's so many of them. They just switch them out. Uh, so I, I conclude that that's not, that's not Harry and that's not Megan. Definitely not Harry. 99% not Megan. Okay. But they're pretty good doubles this time. Uh, Harry praising the queen. Were they reprimanded? You bet. Uh, the queen, basically, the crown ordered them to straighten that, straighten it up. And it's all the way from the top, nine clubs. Okay, and this is a, this is a wise move to not, you know, don't, you know, kiss the sun lest he be angry. You know, be, be careful, you know, being too uh, critical of the crown. And they're kind of, they're really backpedaling on it. They're really backpedaling. They were reprimanded. Is the queen considering pulling Meghan's title? You bet. Absolutely. She wants to create a new situation. Four aces, a completely new situation. She's not loving this. She's not loving what Megan is doing. And it's really Megan. Megan is leading this and Harry is following along. And, it's, and if Harry leaves Megan, I don't think we're going to hear another political anything out of Harry because we never heard anything political from Harry before Megan. And now it's nonstop po politics. And woke speech. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who bought me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and